everybody, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new here, welcome to my channel. My name is Kat, I am a flight attendant for a major US airline. So just a couple videos ago, I showed y'all one of my new favorite carry-on bags. Many of you in the comments actually asked me, can you please pack your carry-on bag? So that is exactly what I am here to do today. We are going to be packing my carry-on bag as if I was going on a trip. And the reason that I know that this is what it's gonna look like as if I was going on a trip is because it was already packed for me to go on a trip and I essentially unpacked it in front of you. The bag details will be down below for anybody who wants to check it out along with the coupon code down there and also any of my items that I can find on Amazon to make it really easy for you. As always, I will have linked down below as well. So without further ado, let's start packing. Okay, so when it comes to my carry-on bag, I usually start front to back. So we are actually going to be packing this front pocket first. It does come with a name tag. I really need to put my information in there. We're gonna go ahead and open this one up and start packing that front pocket. So starting over on this side, there is this discreet little zipper pocket. And for me, as a woman, I like to keep my womanly stuff just tucked away right in there and zipped on up so it is discreetly put away. So right over here is a larger pocket right next to it. And then this pocket, I actually like to store my passport right in there. If I am going through security and I do need my passport, there is a feature on the back of the bag right here, which I actually leave empty and then I'll stick my passport and my boarding pass in there or sometimes just my boarding pass depending on where I'm going. But that makes it easy whenever I'm going through security. Otherwise, it does go just right in here for me, tucked away. Also, I do sometimes keep my ID and some debit cards in there. So otherwise, they'll just stay in my wallet. Then over in this pocket right here, this is actually the port where you are able to charge your phone through the bag. So here I attach my favorite battery pack. Well, this one's not my favorite. It's just one of them. My anchor one is definitely my favorite. But anyways, I just take a battery pack and then go ahead and tuck it discreetly in there. And then you can take the wires and tuck them in there as well. And that way you can plug in your charger with your phone and actually charge your phone through the bag and actually text as you're still using the bag, which is a super nice feature. In this pocket, I actually like to keep a pair of headphones, one for my laptop, one for my phone. So these are the headphones that I actually use with my laptop up there. And so I just take these and put them right next to it but in this mesh pocket right here and then as you may be able to see right here is a key attachment so I just take my keys and then attach them to this and then I actually just tuck them into this pocket right here so they stay really well hidden but I always know where they're at and they are discreetly put away so they're not scratching stuff up and then right here there is a storage space for pens so as a flight attendant, we are known for taking hotel pins. It's just a thing of ours because we always need pins. We're always giving ours away, especially when we have customs forms. So it's great to travel with quite a few pins. And then in this pocket over here, I actually keep a couple different things. So one of the first things that I like to keep on me are band-aids. You just never know. So I stick two band-aids right in there. I am a gum chewer, or should I say a gum smacker. I love gum, but I do not want to be that person that I'm trying to service you and I'm over here. <laughs> so I keep gum in here, but I also keep Listerine patches. So that way when I'm flying, I'm not supposed to be chewing gum. I have a Listerine option, so I'm not breathing hot on people, but I can also keep my gum on me for when I'm on the layover. Another thing that I like to pack is a travel reusable straw. So my mom got this for me, but if you are a fan of this channel, you know I love my metal straws. So this one just like goes out and it goes back down essentially, and then you can just travel with it. So there you go, you have a portable straw, no need for using plastic straws. It's 2020, we are saving the environment. So I just go ahead and tuck this in that pocket as well. So there you go, that is the front of the bag. Now. My tablet actually will go in here a lot of times too, but also my tablet is with me a lot of times. But if it's not with me, I do go ahead and throw that in there with the whole case and everything. So there you go, that's all set. And that is essentially what I keep in this front pocket. Okay, and we are going to move on towards the inside of the bag. So this bag, like I have shown y'all, has two pockets 
here and here. So we're gonna go ahead and start on this pocket on this side. And this pocket actually has a little travel case. So I've said that this is great for tech gear. You can also put other stuff in there if you so desire. So actually in this case, I like to take is my little converter. So I just put my memory card in here for my camera and then I plug it into my computer so I can transfer all my files over. So I just tuck this in the pocket right here and then I zip that on up. And then on this side, I actually take my Apple Watch charger, which these things I'm in love with. My mom got me these twist ties for Christmas. I was using some Velcro ones, but these are way better. But anyways, I just take this and I tuck the Apple Watch charger into that pocket so it's nicely tucked away. And then I have to take my phone charger, but also my work tablet charger. Unfortunately, they are not compatible, so I have to take them both. And I actually just set them on top like that. And then I zip this on up. But before I actually put this into my bag, I'm gonna stick two other things into this pocket. So I'm actually going to be sticking my flashlight in here. This is a required item for flight attendants. So I know a lot of you are probably not gonna be traveling with flashlights, but if you do, this is where I put mine. So I just go ahead and stick that into this little pocket. The next thing I travel with is my portable door lock. You can never be too safe, too secure when you're in a hotel room. Picked this up on Amazon. So I like to put this in that same pocket as well. And then I go ahead and finally add my tech stuff. And I keep this on top actually because I need access to my chargers and stuff more more frequently than my flashlight my hotel door lock so then this just goes ahead and goes on top right there and then I can just zip this on up so moving on to this side so this was one of the features that I showed you in the bag that I said this makes a great business bag great international bag because of this right here and obviously some other stuff that you're gonna see if you haven't already but also because of this so this is basically a little toiletry kit so if you're on an international flight and you fall asleep, this is very, very convenient to put in a toothbrush and some toothpaste, some travel deodorant, some stuff to basically freshen yourself up, maybe a mini hairspray thing. So that's also great for business as well because if you're going from boarding to boardroom like they designed this bag for, then a lot of times you have to freshen up as well. And in here, I pack a lot of stuff. This one gets a lot of use from me. So in this, I actually pack <laughs> Right here. Do not laugh at me. This is because of y'all. I do this for y'all. Many of you, not going to single you out by name, get onto the airplane and get very gassy, which is relatable. It does happen. You expand. But some of y'all love to blow up those toilets, especially in the morning on those early flights. So I do like to carry a little poopery spray in case it does get a little unfresh. I can just freshen it up because that is in our workspace a lot of times. That lavatory is real close to the galley, so I like to keep this on hand. The next thing that I like to put in here is actually hand sanitizer. So this is from Bath and Body Works. It's an antibacterial foaming hand sanitizer and toasted vanilla chai. Usually I have like the little gel hand sanitizers, but if you know me, if you know this channel, you know I am not traveling without this stuff. So I always keep hand sanitizer in there as well. The next thing is this. So this is actually 24 hour ultra shea body cream. It's basically hand lotion. I love it. My husband thinks it stinks, but he's wrong. It's in the stars, also by Bath and Body Works, but I also do like luscious hand lotion that I've shown to y'all many times before. Basically things get really dry on the planes, so always, always, always keep hand lotion on me. And the convenience of having all this stuff right in this pocket means it's very, very easy to put in and out. The next thing that I like to keep with me, and do not judge me, is a little baby deodorant. You never know when something stinks on the plane if it's you. So sometimes you just have to carry one of these just in case you do not want to be that person on the plane and I do not want that for you. So I go ahead and take a mini deodorant and put that in there. The next thing I like to bring is actually my prescribed nasal spray. Weird, I know, I'm sorry. I just, okay. Anyways, <laughs> last but not least, I have asthma, so I travel with my inhaler, obviously, always. I like the accessibility of it being in here, so I actually like to put my inhaler in here as well. It all fits up nicely, so then I'm just gonna go ahead and take this and zip it on up with all my favorite stuff in there. And there you go. And I will just slide that into this pocket right here. But also if I am traveling internationally, you will probably see a toothbrush in here as well. So after I get to take my crew nap, I will have a toothbrush also that I can freshen up myself, which is why this makes a great international bag. Let's set that on up and move on to the inside of the bag. So one of my favorite things that I showed you all about this bag is actually its ability to pack like a suitcase. So that's what we're gonna be doing. We are going to be opening this on up and packing it 
from the middle. So we are gonna start over here in the mesh pocket. Now if I was traveling internationally, I would actually maybe pack some clothes in here like for personal travel, so then I can change so you're not wearing like the same gross clothes when you know you feel like you need a shower and you wanna freshen up. So this does give you the ability to pack clothes and you can see exactly what you're packing. But obviously as a flight attendant, that's not what's gonna be in here. So to start out with, I actually like to put my travel lint roller so this is super cool i've shown this to y'all before in one of my amazon hauls which if y'all haven't seen go check that out and you could just roll it on up and there you go you have the paper so you can get the lint off you off your uniform off whatever so i actually just set that right in the middle there okay so the next thing that i like to keep in this pocket which i don't think many of you are going to be traveling with unless you're flat as i just don't see people traveling with these things and that is actually going to be my cpr mask it is a requirement for us to have this on us and to put it in a spot that is easy access we do have extras on the plane but i do want to go ahead and put this in this pocket because it's really easy zip it down the middle unzip it and there you go there's my mask the next thing i have is a fume mask i actually did get this on amazon don't think that many of you are gonna have a few masks, but just in case that we have a fume event on the plane, I wanted a few masks. So then I just take that and I tuck it right next to my CPR mask. The next thing that I put into this pocket is actually my donut. I have shown y'all this many, many times, and that gives me three plugs and three little USB ports so I can keep all my stuff charging right next to me. So I just go ahead and tuck that in there as well. The next thing that I bring, I showed y'all this also in my Amazon haul, which once again, you can go check out, and that is my reusable shopping bags. I do like to keep one of these with me, especially when I'm doing international trips in the summer. So I just go ahead and put that in here as well. So the next thing I add to this pocket is actually this bad boy right here. It's basically a little converter and it all stays in one block. So I like to take that with me on my trips. So I just tuck that into the side as well. The next thing that I keep in this pocket are both of these right here. It has been very, very obvious that I am a blue light glasses fan. I love these. I have so many different pairs that I have shared with y'all that I get them on Amazon. I take at least one pair with me on every trip. So I just tuck those in there as well. And then also my sleeping mask. And one last thing that I like to put in here is actually this right here. So this goes to my camera. I can just charge my extra batteries in there, which this should actually be in my case. <laughs> Uh, anyway, so I actually like to keep my little camera battery charger pack in here So I just set that right in there as well, and then I will go ahead and zip this on up You can see it fits a lot of stuff. I can see everything so it's very functional I absolutely love this feature especially if you are putting clothes because you can see all your clothes nicely laid out Now we are going to be moving on over here. So as you can see it does have the laptop case. So for this, I actually like to take my laptop charger. So I'll just stick this in here. And then obviously on the other side, I have the cord for the laptop charger. And actually I can fit a book in here sometimes. So if I have a smaller paperback book, if I'm not using the iBooks app on my phone, I can actually stick a book in there with the charger. I didn't have a book on this last trip, but just to let you know, and then I will take my laptop and I can put it into the laptop pocket. This is padded. I tried to fit my laptop with the case on it, but unfortunately the case that I have is very padded, it's very thick, so it didn't fit in there. But I did travel with my laptop without the case in the padded section. It all was good, it worked very nicely. So if you're somebody like me who has to travel with their laptop, that is an awesome feature. Again, if you have not seen the video for all the details of the bag, definitely go check that out. But the next part of the bag you can actually get to from either unzipping the inside or it has a smaller pocket on the outside. So you can get to it from two different ways, which is super cool. We're gonna go ahead and get to it from the inside and we're gonna pack it like a suitcase. So there you go. It has like this nice backing to pack lots of stuff. So one of the first things that I like to put in here is my hot water bottle. I am that person who is forever cold. I'm always cold on the plane. So I store this right at the bottom since it sits really nicely and really flat. Next thing that I like to put in here is actually my in-flight shoes. So I have my in-flight shoes in here and then I just keep them in the bag with a deodorizer and then go ahead and set them in here. This bag actually did come with a second shoe bag. So if I was commuting and I wanted to wear some comfy clothes, I could actually put my in-flight heels in here and then put my heels in here as well. But I didn't do that last time and I did wanna show you exactly how I did pack this to travel. So we are not gonna be putting my in-flight heels in here today, but I did wanna show you it does come with a secondary shoe bag. The other thing that it does come with that I haven't used 
is also the carry-on strap. It does have very, very, very thick mesh padding. So if this gets super heavy, this is going to help take some of the damage off your shoulders, off your back. It's beautiful and it does have the bronze hardware because again, I did get this bag in black with the bronze hardware. That is their best seller. It's the one that I like because as a flight attendant, we need black bags. But it does come in lots of other colors as well if you are interested in a different color other than the generic black. But I did want to show you both of those just because I do come with the bag, even if I'm not using it. Okay, so the next thing that I will go ahead and pack in here is an umbrella. You never know when you're going to get off the plane and try and get to the shuttle to get to your hotel and it's pouring rain or you're on your layover. You always want to pack an umbrella. So I just go ahead and tuck that in there. The next thing that I like to keep is actually this, which I told a lot of y'all that I was disappointed about. But bear with me. I found a great use for it. So in here, I actually like to keep my rings just like I said I did. So whenever my fingers start swelling on the planes, I put my rings there. But also I like to keep my name tag in here and sometimes I keep an extra pair of wings in here. But I did take the extra pair and put them on my uniform so they're not currently in here. It also has two little bridges so you can like move them around. So if you do have smaller items like bracelets or whatever, or you have earrings and so you wanna use the dividers, they do have two dividers in here that you can move around. But anyways, found a great use for this. So now this does come on most of my trips with me. The next thing I pack, which I don't think a lot of you are going to be packing. I put my flight attendant apron, so I just go ahead and tuck that in there. So then it's just super easy to grab my apron and to grab my in-flight shoes. So right when I'm about to start service, I can put those on and grab them and I'm not digging through the bag. So that's another reason why this double zipper is a great feature. The next thing that I like to pack in here is actually my camera case. Now obviously you're on my camera right now, so the camera case is empty, but essentially this would have my camera in there and I actually just tuck it in there right next to the jewelry box. And then last but not least, I like to take a tripod with me. I do have a couple different tripods. This is my travel friendly one. So I just go ahead and just set this on top. So then you can go ahead and take this and of course be careful because your laptop should be in it. And then you can grab it right by the middle and zip it on up once again. And I do love these zippers like I told y'all. Now this bag does also have a little carabiner right on the side. So if you do want to add something like a keychain or something just to personalize it, you can do that as well. Well, thank you so much for joining me today and have a great one y'all. Bye.